hello everyone welcome to another virtual dj tutorial now in this tutorial i am going to show you how to move your virtual dj configurations from one pc to the other without losing a single configuration or a single settings so first we are going to start with keyboard your keyboard mappings right so if you head to settings and then in controllers okay let me switch to the advanced editor so there is a new interface with a new update i'm going to do a new video on that but for now let's stick to what's uh, the business of today all right so i have i have sample keyboard mappings and you can see i've saved it with my name okay and i would want to maintain this same configurations when i move uh or when i install virtual dj in another pc all right on another pc so what i, I can do is that uh, i can go to the virtual dj directory and how do i go to the virtual DJ directory so unfortunately you know virtual dj used to save your configurations in your documents directory but now it has changed okay it has changed now so what you can do is that when you head to interface okay and then you click on edit this skin it is going to take you to the directory that these skins are saved right on your pc so here you can see this directory here you can see where it is now i'll just click on virtual dj and it will show me every folder so here is a list of my playlist uh, currently it is empty because i have not created any playlist but if you go to my history i should have some history here and then it shows me right like the tracks that i the songs that i've played in 2023 right and you can see the playlist is here okay but uh what i'm interested in is my keyboard mappings okay so if you can look at here you can see mappers right and when i open mappers you can see keyboard custom mapping and then keyboard can so with this if i should copy this right so what i need to do is i'll copy this and then in the in the new pc i'll go to the same directory and then now paste this uh file this dot xml file in that directory and i'm going to have my um what do we call it my keyboard configurations right so let's say i can copy this and then paste it right in this directory and then now let me change the name uh to copied mappings okay and then save this way all right let me close it and let me see if so I'll, I'll close the settings i'll go back to the mappings uh so controllers and i'll click on advanced editor let me see if i should say okay so it means that i have to restart virtual dj right so let me restart it um asap great and then if i should go to settings and then controllers and i'll go to advanced editor and i'll drop down i should see here so you can see copied mappings here right so you can see this is the mappings that i i just copied and pasted and pasted so it is the same thing if i had moved it to another pc definitely i would be able to also have the mappings there so the next thing is your settings so for example the options that you set here okay so once again i'll go to interface i'll click on edit scan right that is the easiest way for me to navigate to the directory right and then i'll go to virtual dj and you can see here so there is database so this is a storage of everything that you have so your disk drives that you have if i should open it let me see if i have an xml uh file editor okay so i need to choose and that is not important so let me just leave it but here it saves the database so all the hard drives that you have um i mean you have on your pc that have uh, your songs okay this is also the license file there's also a log so this is the settings xml file all right so if i should copy the settings xml file and then replace it right i replace it with the old settings file oh uh, sorry i replace it with the new settings file i mean on the new pc i am also going to have everything that i have done in there right so i did a previous video on events let me see if it is there okay so that is the default events there all right so let me quickly uh create a new event so here i'll choose a different name so new events okay and i'll save this okay so this is saved and i'll go to settings interface edit skin all right and virtual dj 
where is the events folder so event and you can see this is the new event so if i want to share this so i did the event on new year's eve counts down so if i want to share it with another dj or a friend i can just copy this file send it via email or whatever means that i would want to transfer the file to the person right so this is so if i want i actually basically want to keep everything about my virtual dj if i should open folders i should see the folders that are listed in my virtual dj right so i have filters i have lists i have local music i have online music so if i should open the folders here you can see i have local music online music list and then filters right so stems the stems is a, is a temporary folder that is why uh you don't see it in there all right so that is basically about it so if i virtually want to keep everything about my virtual dj then i can just copy everything here and then replace it on the replace it with the directory or the new directory that i have on my pc so i can just copy this to a removable drive and slot that into the new pc and then paste that there and i'll have everything that i had on my old interface to my new interface so that is basically about it how to transfer your configurations your mappings from one virtual dj to another one without losing or breaking anything so if you like this video make sure to give give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and make sure you have turned on your notifications so that you'll be notified anytime i drop a new video once again, their name is King Kobe and I'll see you in another video.